guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome I'm Libby and I'm back with another vlog today I didn't film last week because it was reading week and I went to Edinburgh so I was going to film a little vlog while I was there but I left my camera at home so I couldn't vlog but it's probably nice for me not to be filming as well so I could just enjoy the whole thing properly but yes I'm back this week with a vlog and I will be back on it I promise the week before reading week because I was trying to catch up with myself so that I could not do work over reading week even though I was still quite behind I literally didn't stop like I was so busy but like from waking up to going to bed I didn't do anything other than uni work work YouTube the gym really nice to have most of reading week off I did some work and like some lectures to catch up but not a huge amount so I'm still fairly behind but I feel like my to-do list is a little bit more manageable this week so hopefully I'll be able to catch up and like get on top of everything again because two of my modules didn't give me any work at all over reading week two of them did I feel generally like I should be able to get through a lot of stuff this week I did quite a bit yesterday today is Tuesday I was on campus all day yesterday anyway doing work I had a seminar at 9 30 for international commercial litigation and then just stayed on campus I had a meeting for an upcoming partnership which I'm really excited about then I had a Spanish class from 3 30 to 5 30 have a lecture at half 11 and it's currently half nine so on my to-do list I have to do a Spanish formative which is due I think at like 2 p.m today which I probably won't have time to do after I get back from my lecture so I need to do that now basically I always think it's better to do them than not to do them just so you get the feedback and stuff and you can see like what mistakes you need to correct so I need to do that first and then I'm halfway through an international commercial litigation lecture which was from last week because I wasn't in Exeter last week so I just need to catch up on that. I've written down criminal justice week three reading because I'm most behind on the reading for criminal justice and I feel like I understand it quite well like I don't find it that difficult to understand and if because it's essays I'm thinking I might look at it read it really quickly or I might skip this week and then come back to it if there is an essay set on it just for the sake of like catching up with myself because we are on week seven. It's a statement of work for an upcoming partnership and a personal statement review for my mentee meeting which is this afternoon I have a mentee meeting at five hopefully I'll be able to fit some more work in depending on whether I do that criminal justice reading but that is the provisional to-do list for today I'm gonna make a start on doing that Spanish formative but yeah I think that's you all caught up on what I've been up to hopefully I'll fit the gym in this evening don't know if by the time it comes to the evening I'm actually gonna be able to get myself out the door but yeah let's get on with doing some work who do I call if it ain't you Tell me who to call if it ain't you I've been placing circles in my bedroom I've been chasing secrets in your heirloom Let me do what I do best, slow down, let me talk to you Don't tell me about your worries, I ain't staying till the afternoon I like you in proximity, but now they're so far from the truth I loved you from a distance, now I can't even stay close to you But who do I call if it ain't you? Tell me who to call if it ain't you It is just gone 11 so I need to walk to my company law lecture which is like half 11 till half 12. I've actually just finished my audiobook yesterday so I'm going to try and find a new one to listen to. I really like non-fiction like memoirs and stuff so I might try and find one of those while I walk as well because I feel like it's a good time to sort of like get some more information in and I really enjoy listening to them. I just finished listening to Akala's Natives which was really really good. I mentioned it in another vlog but I would highly recommend it but yeah I need to get going now. It was so cold yesterday which I'm really not looking forward to but it is pretty sunny and the colours are so pretty at this time of year. Yeah let's go to my lecture. I just needed to see you. See ya. See ya. See ya. See ya. I've just got back from my lecture and then I made some lunch. It's about half one now. I'm now gonna move on to doing the criminal justice reading for week three. Like 
a fucking doing the criminal justice week three reading which i've just finished i didn't take complete notes but sort of like sometimes if i don't have time to do a reading i will read it through and like try and take any really important part which is hard when you're trying to read like a really big volume of information quickly but i will do that and try and get the most important bits and then if i'm trying to save time i will go through the bits in my notes that i've spoken about bits that are being referenced in the textbook and if I think that it might be important later on, like if I get an essay set on it, I'll put like go to page 74 for more on this, like in the textbook, so that it makes it a lot easier. Like if that's a specific thing that I want to know more about when I come back to it and want to write an essay on it or it's important later on, I can then really easily find where there's more information on that and that's like a good starting point and I can look at the references and then like go read those articles if I want to write an essay on that specific part. So that's one of the ways if I'm trying to get through something quickly or like catch up and I'll sometimes also do that when I'm not trying to do it like really really quickly as well I just think it's like a good practice to do so I know that if I do need to know more on that I can come back to it at a later date and find it really easily now I have just under an hour to do the statements of work that I needed to do for a future collaboration and then I also need to do the personal statement review before my meeting at five o'clock with my mentee so that is what I'm going to work on quickly now hopefully I'll get that all done within the hour before my meeting just had my mentee meeting i'm gonna go and make some dinner now and i'm gonna make a tomato soup that i saw on i think they're called that so vegan on their instagram like a creamy tomato soup i don't have any balsamic vinegar and i don't know if it's gonna make it taste a lot worse but yeah hopefully it's still nice so i'm gonna go make that now <laughs> I've been thinking about the choices I have made and that the life I've chosen for myself I wonder how it looked by now If I stuck to the status quo and stayed in England never know But when I see my friends I see them with this golden glow It seems they can touch the rainbow I guess I'll never know, never know, never know Would that be me? If I'd stay in my city Minded to enjoy each day and find it in ourselves to show some gratitude for every moment through and through I try so hard to just be present, mom will slip to add the lessons I can't help but wonder, but I guess I'll never know it What the other book looks like It's now nine o'clock and I've done some more Spanish work. So I just typed up some of my notes, which I had to do. I've just done some yoga. I was gonna go to the gym after I had dinner this evening, but I just couldn't bring myself to go out in the cold and walk to the gym and walk back by the time I was all done with dinner and everything because it would have been quite late. I think I'm gonna get up earlier tomorrow and do it first thing to get out of the way. I did a quick yoga instead and I need to shower now and then I'm just gonna get into bed and do some reading, I think. I'm reading The Outsider. I think it's also translated as The Stranger. But yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. And probably try and get a bit of an early night or like get to sleep at a very reasonable time so that I feel like I can get up tomorrow morning because I'm not very good at getting up early in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, it is quarter past eight and I got up at half seven this morning and I've just got ready 
to go to the gym. So I think I'm just going to do a heavy leg day. But I wanted to get it in this morning before. Well, I've got a social tonight, so I can't go this evening anyway. But I really couldn't bring myself to go to the gym yesterday evening. And I had, like, no lectures or meetings or anything today. So I just have, like, from now until I have to go to pre's this evening. I've just got a full day where I can get through some reading and do some work and stuff. So that gives me time to sort of go to the gym in the morning as well. But yes, I'm going to go grab a bagel um, and a banana for breakfast again and head to the gym. So I'm back at my desk and I've written out a to-do list for today. I just put some washing away, done some emails and obviously been to the gym and it's 10 past 11 now. So I've written out a to-do list for today and not really sure what I'm going to get done. So this will probably change throughout the day depending on whether I get this all done or not. But I've written down Criminal Justice Week 4 textbook. So I'm not sure how long that will take because I haven't seen how many pages that is yet. That's on arrest powers. And then I've put Spanish Week 5 exercises as well. But yeah, that's all I've written down so far just for today. Also, I remember yesterday I was speaking about how when I'm trying to read things quickly, I'll like pinpoint page numbers if I think it might be important to come back to. I also do that for when I'm reading the textbook and they've given like the whole chapter for you to read on a topic. And there's a section on something that you haven't come across before, or there's a section on something that you're like, I probably don't think this will come up as an essay question or as a problem question. I will also do the pinpointing page thing for that as well. So I'll be like, go to this page for this. So if I ever come across that thing and like command effort for my notes and um, to find it in my notes and realise that I actually did need it or I actually did need to know about it I then know where it is in the textbook but a lot of the time when I do that it's not something that I actually did need to know about so I save time by doing it that way and like either really quickly skimming the section or like not really reading it at all also you can just check with your lecturer if something's going to be examinable or like if it's something that you should be reading about. I just wanted to qualify what I said yesterday with that as well because I also do it in those circumstances. Let's go on with some criminal justice reading. two o'clock and I've just been doing that criminal justice reading. I actually haven't got very far through. It's taking me a long time, I'm getting distracted and I'm also really struggling to find the motivation today. I would like to finish this by the end of today and then I'll have done a week four for criminal justice. So then I'll just have week five and then we're on week seven. So I wouldn't do the reading until after the lectures anyway. I'm gonna try and get on with doing some more of this reading now and hopefully to do it a little bit quicker and not get as distracted. now a little bit later on it is 5 23 so i need to get ready because we're having freeze at half five so i've got seven minutes to have dinner and get ready but i basically this afternoon ended up having a bit of a nap which i'm kind of annoyed with myself about because i don't think i was that tired i think i was just avoiding doing work but i've nearly finished that criminal justice reading so hopefully tomorrow that'll feel like less of a big task and i'll just be able to get through it at the beginning of the day so it's now eight o'clock and i thought i'd catch you up on what i actually got up to this evening so i went to pre's which is at my house anyway and yeah just had like literally one drink i didn't end up going to the social and i knew i wasn't going to go out afterwards anyway but i've got such a busy day tomorrow i'm tired i just couldn't be bothered to do it today but i've basically just done like a proper deep clean instead because like i've been meaning to do it for a while and you know when you sort of like put it off and i just thought i basically if i feel like i haven't been productive in a day i kind of force myself to be productive in other ways like by cleaning or like doing something else i do it when i'm hungover as well usually like if i feel like i haven't achieved anything but i don't feel like i have the mental capacity to do work i'll like do a deep clean or like do something else 
productive so i feel like i kind of did it because of that but i also think it's something that like makes you feel so much better like it is a form of self-care to like have a clean space have a clean room have a clean bathroom so i decided to do that because i wasn't feeling like the best or the most motivated or the most productive so i thought i would be productive and also sort of see cleaning as a form of self-care and feeling good about having done that so now it's eight so i've got plenty of time this evening as well because i'm not going out so i'm gonna try and finish this book i'm not far from the end but the prose is so boring it's a bit of a weird one i don't know i just really want to finish that so then i like, will probably move on to something a little bit of like faster pace and that's my plan for this evening i don't think i'm going to do any more work i've got like I think about 15 pages of the textbook reading to do so hopefully when I've got like a fresh mind tomorrow I'll start with that and get that done a bit quicker rather than sort of like staring at it and not getting it done very quickly this evening those are my plans so yeah I really hope you've enjoyed the vlog don't forget to like and subscribe if you did thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video